the idea that there are different ways of investing at least some of your money. I would like to give you a gift for being such a friend. Look at these beautiful things. Yes. I want to get, there are very few of them left, but here's one of my prize oh, bags. Thank you. Well, in return, I foraged this this morning, locally foraged passion fruit. I want to give you a gift too. Part of being scrappy and sustainable is foraging what's around us. <laughs> yay. Not it go to waste. Okay, yay. Thank yeah. you very much. Love you, Laura. Thank love you. you oh, yay, friends. Roxanne. We love you, Roxanne. <laughs> Roxanne, look, I love the way that we all wore blue. It's so interesting how that happens. Uh, did you know, Roxanne, uh, that uh, those two back there are mumbling? Did you know what this is? Do you know what these are? I do not. I do not. These are called butterfly peas, and you can eat them. If you want to try, I won't. Okay. I'm going to pass them all around. They're blooming on my back fence. Uh, a previous guest of the show gave me the plant. And if you boil them in water, the, the water the water turns purple. And then if you put lemon juice in it, they go pink. All right. Roxanne. Yes. Welcome. So what is it? What is it? Oh, let me do this. Oh my God, I don't know what we're going to do with those. We're going to have to separate the people. <laughs> yeah. Separate browsers. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Roxanne, what do you do? I play guitar and ukulele, and I teach ukulele and guitar. I have ukulele classes. <laughs> and raise your voice. And um, I play at the Tiki every Tuesday from 12 to 3. Every Tuesday every you play Tuesday. at Tommy's Tiki, yeah. And do you, uh, you play just in Gulfport or other places? I play anywhere that opens the door. <laughs> and were you always a musician? I started playing when I was 8. And so that was a little bit ago. I started playing the ukulele about 14 years ago because I wanted something I could travel with easier. Mm -hmm. Much easier than, than guitar. Yeah. Yeah. And the ukulele makes everyone smile. Yeah. So. Well, do you have a, a song that you have written yourself that you I might do. like to sing? I us? do. I'm going to move. I'm going to get off the stage. I'm going to give you both these microphones. Oh, okay. Just because I don't know how to do this. We're going to put this one around this way. And you introduce your song and sing it for us. Okay. Well, this is a song I wrote. Uh, out of an event that happened in the town I lived in that was uh, one of those events you think is never gonna happen in your town, but it does. Mm -hmm. And it was a memory of how precious life is and uh, how quickly it can go because we only have seconds, yeah. seconds. So this is a song called Ticking Away. Somebody's face, be a song in a heart, be the change you wish to see. Starting where you are, be the one who stops to listen. When everyone walks on by, be the one to make a difference. Don't be afraid to try. Only so many seconds every day. Be a smile on somebody. 
inside the space Be a song in a heart Be the change you wish to see Starting where you are Only so many seconds every day Taking away, taking away Only so many breaths we get to take Taking away, taking away people participate and sing dance and mm. I, I'm not just because Debbie's here but right. I really have a heart for playing at the Tiki yeah. and she knows that and yeah we uh, have that wonderful bar Tom and uh, Tiki I'll be playing there Friday the 18th yeah cool. uh, you said you give lessons to people Yes. Is that something you yeah. like to do? Or I is love it? doing that. Okay. And what do you teach, guitar and ukulele? I teach guitar and ukulele. I have ukulele classes. Every third Thursday we do those at Tommy's. Yeah. And, and I also have a house party coming up that I'm doing. House party where? And, well, it's a private oh. thing. But <laughs> you mean you would teach a ukulele yeah. lesson at a house party? Yes. Okay. Someone so, asked me, and they've got 20 people coming, so yeah. Do you have to bring 20 ukuleles? I do, and I have 20 ukuleles. Okay. Okay, so up to 20 people, book them for your... Okay, so Roxanne, at 630-207-3659. They can call you or get in touch somehow on on Facebook. Where do you where do you usually do your lessons from? In person or...? I do them in person, yeah. I've done them on Zoom. That didn't work so great, but during COVID, you had to do what you had to do. But um, usually I, I will go to someone's house. I'll travel wherever wherever they'd like. I, mean, I like working with kids, I like working with adults. I've done uh, therapeutic music. I've also done with people that are kind of shut in, don't have. Do you have a, excuse me, do you have a piece of paper that says you're allowed to do these things? I have Ooh. a certificate Ooh. for therapeutic music. A I do not have a degree. I don't have it with me. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> right here, right here, we oh. have this certificate. Now this is full of pertinent information. Uh, we'll let that go that go. way. Um, excellent. All right, so you feel like you're pretty good at, at teaching, and do you mind young people, old people? I teach everybody as young as four, and I've actually taught someone that was in their 90s. Oh. Um, I, I, I always tell everybody that says they can't play an instrument, I can teach you ukulele. Yes. I can okay. teach everybody yeah. ukulele. <laughs> so. And it's never too late to start. I didn't really start playing. I mean, there are pictures of me with the guitar. I played two or three chords when I was younger, but... I didn't really start playing and performing and being able to play songs from beginning to end until I was 40. So oh. it's not too late. Uh, I think that we're going to get you back up here at the end of the show to uh, to give a little a lesson, see how we go. I just want you to know that this is a gift for you, oh. also for you and Kay Quinn uh, and a mango. So I've left you some gifts. And I'll get you back up here later for the exciting part of the... Okay. All right. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. And look at this. I love the way it is. I think it all, we all match. And wearing today this fine handmade apron, my cousin's mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. This thing is so beautiful. I, don't, I can hardly stand it. Clothes from the Gulfport Clothing Swap. First Tuesday of the month. Come on down. Um... Around my house right now, I planted, when I first moved in here, I planted a macadamia nut tree. Ooh, I forgot to bring a rock. But, and when, you're supposed to harvest them when they fall. And when they fall, sometimes they crack right open right away. This one's been, it wasn't cracked open right away. But look at that. And then, you need a rock. 
and you can smash that open and get your macadamia nut. And this is what the macadamia nut tree looks like. Now these, this one has split open right up here on the stem. And when I picked it yesterday, oh, you got a rock, come on up here, Barney. Smash that right there for us, smash that open. So these haven't actually fallen off, but, uh, but it's starting to split. Oh, They're down. <laughs> so it's like around here it's raining up. The mangoes, we're done with the mangoes. The raccoons can go away. And oh, oh <laughs> those are good. Okay. Here, you can have that bunch. Just because you cracked it. And see on the inside is the white um what an actual macadamia nut looks like. I don't know. And then you can pass that around. Delicious. And here, try it. You can pass that around to see uh, macadamia nuts. How that? Um, how your macadamia nuts come? Uh, you want to eat that? Try. Yeah, yeah. Don't eat the shell. You have to just eat the white part. Good call. Wow! It's always so exciting here in the Laura Shepherd yard. I, uh, I hope that. Uh, I would never have to. All right, simmer down out there. You guys get a little crazy out there. Uh, I'm going to have to hold a sign because I cannot be standing up here telling you all to be quiet throughout this whole show. It's the Laura Shepherd said, shut up, show, and get out. Laura Shepherd said, shut up and get out. All right, so everybody, I'm so glad some people came to be here in the live audience. I appreciate people coming and being in the live audience. If you want to support me, Become a Patreon and patron, The Laura Shepherd Show. Send me some money, Venmo, PayPal, or leave a little money in this jar. Feel, feel free to like help somebody out anywhere. Share their things on Facebook. When you see them on the side of the road, hand somebody a $10 bill. Why not? Okay. <clears throat> the next guest on our show, Debbie Jensen! We needed a rock. It was kind of interesting. <laughs> Would you like this rock? Do you like rocks? I like rocks. You want this rock? Actually, I have quite a collection of rocks. No, you really have a collection of rocks? Okay, I'm going to give this rock to you. And, and this mango is for you. And there's some flowers for you. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, Debbie, other than run a very successful restaurant called Tommy's Tiki, you are a painter, and these are some of your works. What? No. These are Debbie's works. Would you hand me that one right there? That one on the ground, right there. Yeah, we're going to get that one in the picture. Now, what, what I find interesting is, um, are these, they are, uh, uh -oh. oh my goodness, we're planting Tulsi seeds at the moment, uh, like, and they got watered, because there were Tulsi seeds in here, and then the water, so we, I, we planted the seeds, and now we're watering them off again. This, uh, tell us a little bit about this painting, because it's abstract, but it's also like a sea, or a city, or a... Wow. So... This painting is actually over another painting. Brilliant. Yeah, and Brilliant. so I have to admit that I, d I didn't do this. I didn't do this texture work that you see in here. Yeah. But it worked the, oh, really I, well I, with. Yeah. yeah, it worked really well with um, that. The painting behind had had faded. It had been in the sun a while, and it faded. And um, I thought, well. You always hate to throw out a canvas or you know so I'm like I can maybe do something with it so I did that and um, without a cityscape in mind but it that's what it kind of ended up looking like um, it kind of reminds me of like a Lord of the Rings or something like that kind of feel yeah. does this painting have a, a name in particular do you name your painting I do sometimes um, this one I did not okay well. Mark calls it NFS or not for sale Oh, this is Mark for sale. Okay. Wow. This is Mark's. Off we go. It's a very nice painting. Thank you. Now, do you have a dedicated, where do you do your painting? Um, usually in the kitchen. Um, it's after dinner or before dinner? In the office or the, a when 
Yeah, well, where? In, in the kitchen? Like, I mean, you know, kitchen. I'm like imagining you in the kitchen. Are you cooking with one hand and painting? No. The other? <laughs> no. Are the dishes done? Not always. Okay. No, they. <laughs> yeah. And the floor ends up with a little paint on it, and the counter ends up with a little paint on it. But uh, um, I do it at really weird different times. Whenever I, I find that I really have to kind of have the desire call me instead of like, I'm going to paint now. I, oh. I can't really do that. So oh. I just do it whenever I, it, it gets me. Yeah. And this one, as this one looks like it has some little dabby dabby bits or was that a particular kind of brush? This or a... has all kinds of things going on in it. I was experimenting and then it, it uh, does it have a name? Uh, just wave is just all like the blue wave. Or the blue wave that matches my fabulous outfit. Yeah. I'm not matchy today. No, no. well, you're the painter. <laughs> um, okay, and um, let's see, we have more paintings. We're going to talk about more. Uh, that wave, it's sort of abstract, but it's more, and the, this one's for. Do you Very just abstract. Paint, do you, we, we don't just paint abstract. Okay, no. what's this one's name? Does it have a name? It does not. Okay, well, we're going to get um, this one, we're going to call it Betsy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Betsy and matches your outfit. So Betsy, well, this who would this be? Because this is very similar. Oh, who, who would this be? oh. well, Betsy well, first of all, Betsy oh, matches your outfit, oh, okay. and oh, this is oh, okay. Lucy. So Lucy and Betsy, they're a pair. Where's Barney? Oh, Barney, Barney. Okay, this one's Barney, and that one's Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you paint them at the same time, or no? Um, around the same time, yes, because I started doing these drops and runs and so I Love it. I did it like at the same time yeah um, I'm kind of uh, upset here that you're you have not signed it I know yet. there's what a, is going there's on there's a few that I haven't I don't well, you really mean a few know. neither of these have been signed well this one, one hasn't been signed one. who does doing this art now when you sign your paintings do you sign them with a magic marker on the back? Do you sign them with the color highlighter? It kind of depends on what it is. None of these some, are signed. No, some of them are. Oh, yeah. Okay. Some of them I don't I like because, especially the abstracts. I, I mean, I know which direction I see it. Oh. But if I'm going to sell it, someone might like it like this. Someone might like it like this. Oh, well, and I don't want my signature like upside down over here. So I kind of no. wait. Well, what about if you sign, uh, or you wait? I you, have I have signed on the back for that still, reason. still, that would make people. It's brilliant. That, yeah, brilliant. Well, because you see different things in sure. different abstracts, you know, so I kind of don't want to say you have to hang it this yeah, way because my cool. signature's right here. I kind of yeah. like it like that. It's yeah. like these two together like that. Mm -hmm. That kind of makes yeah. like a barbell of some kind. Yeah. <laughs> we like it. Okay, well, I'm just wanting see? the signature on these. See? I know. You see? I, yeah. Well, I see that. I'm like, how are we going to do it? You could do a little, uh, you could do it on the back in a circle or on all four. You have to write your name four times in big letters. In big letters <laughs> on the back and then everywhere. I don't know how we're going to sort this out. Well, I don't let's, know. See, let's see that beautiful one right behind you there. Can you get this one? So, Debbie Amos. At seven two seven four seven nine seven one three two, and so if somebody wants to buy a painting, or do you take commissions? I have, yes. You have take commissions. So if somebody's interested in purchasing one of these paintings or uh, getting some sort of a commission, does this one have a name? Uh, I just no. No, they don't have to have names. I'm just, I'm just going to ask you on every one. You know, uh, this one does have a signature down here. It does because this one really does go this way. I mean, Are you sure? I mean, I guess you don't have to. No. Okay, upside down. How about like this? No. No, the other way. It could be really has, super abstract if you wanted. Nobody will put up with it anyway, but this. Okay, so it's signed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everybody like. I think so. Okay. I'll so, take that one. When you want that one, okay. Uh, you can uh, get My together later for the. Uh, oh, your mother wants this. Yeah, oh, you're gonna have to fight. You know, uh, the rest of the. Yeah, she gonna rub your feet or no? Uh, where? Okay, so kitchen. you do. Oh, she'll clean your kitchen Maybe. in exchange. So, but you place value on your art. You sell your art. I do. Okay. I, I do some of it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
trade or barter with yeah. somebody for something. Uh, so when you start a painting, do you paint it from beginning to end? No, not hardly ever do I do that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, um, almost always, I start it and put it down, start it. Back. And where I'm, I'm imagining, are these just laying around your kitchen half finished, or do you stack them back up? Are they acrylics? They're yeah, laying they around until they dry, and then I put them in the office and until I, I feel like I can do something else to it. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Okay. And do you have so maybe you might be going on more than one painting at once? Um. Sometimes, uh, yeah. There are several that are not like are in progress, and then mm -hmm. I go and pick up one that just kind of. Wow. Fits me at that time, and then I finish it or work on it, or yeah. yeah. Mm. All right. Well, does anybody have any um, questions about this very important painting? Yeah. So I'll clean the kitchen for it. Well, you will you clean the kitchen for, for it. Okay. Uh, so Debbie, not only are you a painter, but you run this fabulous little restaurant called Tommy's Tiki, and I used to bring my mother there because I could pull up right out front, and mm. she, you know. Uh, could easily get out and sit and uh, and so I really always appreciate that she liked the mussels. Do you still have mm -hmm. the mussels? Yes, yeah. she liked it. And you're famous for your key lime pie. Oh, the key lime pie. Oh, yes. Okay. Anybody out there ever had the key lime pie? Yes. Oh, yes. all hands raised. I don't even like key lime pie. And you promote uh, live music. Yes, we do. Yeah. And um, for sure. So. Sundays, are we still hot tonicking? Yep. Um, so Sunday is uh, hot tonic. I'll, we're closed on Mondays right now. Tuesdays, it, we rotate different music. Wednesdays, open mic. Thursday, we rotate. Friday and Saturday through the summer, we're doing music on the terrace side, which is at 56th and Shore, which is where Laura's going to play. Ooh, very exciting. Okay, so Friday the 18th, I'm going to be performing, and it's on my Drop the PA tour. It's really the Fuck the PA tour. I'm not bringing a PA, and we're going to be sitting on the side, yeah. and I'm going to get paid to play because I like to get paid, and <laughs> Debbie pays musicians to play there, but I'm not bringing a PA. We'll see how it works. I really um, appreciate your being willing to take a risk to on um, having me, you know, without a PA. Because usually when somebody comes to a bar and they're carrying a big PA, that's the way we've all learned to do it. So I appreciate your uh, thinking enough of me. So um, you'll be great. So there she'll be go. great. She will be. Yes, she will. Yeah. All right. I'm pretty excited about it. Is there anything else you want to tell us about painting? I yes. I encourage everyone to do it. Um, so I've heard people say, oh, I'm not an artist, oh, I can't paint, or, it, it, and it goes for other things too, like, or I can't sing, or I can't dance, or whatever. Um, everyone can do all of those things, and yeah. you, you don't know if you can paint, or any of those things, until you at least try it, and you might enjoy it, and could maybe get better at it. For instance, one of our employees, a, a cook, um, he had watched a few videos, I guess, about painting, um, but hadn't tried it himself really. And a couple, and one one day I gave him a couple canvases, and I said, "So here you go. Go ahead and do what you keep talking about." And he did. And this, and that he gave me a painting that about two weeks into it, and it is amazing. I mean, oh. you would never know that he had just started painting, right? You know. So if he hadn't tried that, uh, you know, it, it would be so unfortunate. So. Everyone can paint. All right, so we've all sort of given up. Oh, AI can do it all. AI can do it all. Don't give up. You know, AI can't paint that painting that that man painted. It's a great thing. Um, I really appreciate your coming here. I appreciate your time. I wanted to give you uh, one of these flowers, but I also want to give you this piece of art right here. This Aww. is the most beautiful thing ever. And Are you so, sure? Yes. This is for you. You just want it's me to have little, blue one, don't you? Yes. Yeah, I've got this. This ribbon right here probably was not the right one. You're going to have to do something a little bit better, which is probably why this thing is its at least 50 years old, if not more. Really? I would say so. When they were doing, when these kits were around. Yes. And I don't know if you were about so that's my gift to you. Aww. And before you leave, do you have to rush away right away? No. Okay, perfect. And 
I, uh, we'll leave your art up here and we'll okay. talk some more. So thank you for your kindness for coming here. Never yeah. too late. Yeah. talk about the ukulele lessons now. Who is willing to take a ukulele lesson? Me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who can we hand this to? Put it right over there. I'm going to take one. Take somebody. Okay, There's come on. Back uh, behind you. Yep, we need, and you get one. Uh, you can sit right there because we're going to come over. We're going to. And Jack, you're going to take this one? And there's and another Elvis one back there. Oh, and there's another one back there. I'm going to get on this side of you. Elvis, Elvis. All right, and we're going to change the rotation of the camera. This is very exciting, people. All right, now, come around this way, Jack. We're going to get you. I don't know you're going to slip over or behind. Oh, this is so exciting. There's a little dance involved in the whole business. <laughs> no, I'm not saying so. We're covering the music Uh, Yeah? You can sit right there if you like. Now, are we uh, are we all in the are we in the photo? A little bit that way. She needs to come this way. Perfect. And then if I sit down here, am I in? You're good. Okay. Oh, Is Nebby in? Yeah, when you sit in. What? You're blocking her instrument. I'm blocking her instrument. Okay. Back up. Okay. Let's wait. Okay, now this we're going to show you how easy it is. Are you all ready to yes. be impressed? Yes. Okay, what are we going to do? So, I tell everyone when you're holding the you, easiest thing to do is where your arm bends, just put your arm straight over. Your hand will then be in the spot where actually the, the uke is supposed to be played, more up on the neck. Unlike the guitar over the sound hole, the uke sweet spot is on the neck. So, and then we're holding the neck, which is this part, like puppet, just hold it. And for the song, the uke is actually tuned to a C. It's a G C E A. The G C E A. Is that a particular type of tuning? It's the modern, the no. traditional okay. ukulele okay. tuning, and it's a high, high G, high G. Okay. So easiest song, I always teach everybody when they say the cat play is row, row, row your boat. So you don't even have to fret anything. Ah! So you just strum, and you can strum open-handed or with your thumb or with your finger, whatever you would like. So just think of the song, row, row, row your boat. <laughs> Or we'll go first. I'll go first. Okay, you go and first. Then, then uh, we'll start. 
and then you guys. And then you guys. So we're three okay. rounds. Okay. All right. Are we ready? Look, this is how easy it is, people. Okay. Who's having fun? Hi. 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 Uh, even the people sitting around, like watching us learn, this is kind of fun, isn't it? It's yeah. Like, yeah. Take the class twice. Take the class twice. Just because they have fun. Okay. <laughs> and do you ever teach? Do you ever teach down at? Um, at Tony's Tiki? I do, every third Thursday. Every third Thursday, and do you play Tuesday during market? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well I play at Tommy's 12 to 3. On tacos Tuesdays, and tunes. tacos and tunes. <laughs> All right, let's hear, let's hear this words. with the new band. We're calling ourselves the new, the teal band. <laughs> because we're mostly, we're, we're lawfully teal. Oh, You're shorts. Oh, okay. okay. The teal band. At the teal band and row, row, row your boat in a round. Ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the street.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.